Tell me, Aloysia, how does your father sit in this chair? Does he put his elbows on it? <laughs> or does he sit like this? You better not let Papa know you sat in his chair. He'd be terribly upset. There are a lot of people in Tobolsk who'd like to see me now. I was hungry and cold there. Come here, my child. Come here. Come here. You seem afraid of me lately. Why? Aloysia, uh, go and find your sister. Take, uh, take Anastasia with you. Oh, I, I want to see Olga, too. No, 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 no. There's something I have to tell you first. Well, go on. What is it, Father? I heard you went to the hospital the other day. Yes, Father. What did you see there? Mother and I talked to a boy. The first day he was at the front, he lost both his hands. Oh. And he was so brave and beautiful. Do you like beautiful boys? I don't know what you mean. Oh, that's all right. It's perfectly natural for a girl to think of boys. You must never be ashamed of life, my dear. Never. I don't want to be rude, Father, but I haven't done my lessons. So, if you have anything to tell me... I... I've got something for you. A little locket. A holy image to wear around your neck. Father, I don't know if I should. Ah, uh -uh, you see, you are afraid of me. No, and Father. You, yes, you are. And you mustn't be. Your mother wouldn't like that, would she? No, no. Father. No. Well, then you must be a lot nicer to me. <laughs> now, you put this around your neck. And every day you wear it, you'll be blessed. Wear it next to your warm little heart. It's beating so fast. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of a little bird I once held in my hand. <laughs> it was so afraid I'd hurt it, but I didn't. That's all I wanted to say to you. Thank you, Father. Maria, it's your bedtime. Good night, Father. Good night, Father. Good night, my little doves. <laughs> 